Hello, my friends. I am so excited for what is about to occur in your life. The choice to take the Extraordinary Life Challenge is nothing short of choosing to live a transformed, bigger, expansive, exciting, new, and empowered life. And so I want to acknowledge you on your willingness your willingness to take this step. In a recent sociological study, 50 people were asked who were near the end of their life. They knew death was close. They were asked, if you could live your life over again, what would you do differently? It was an open-ended question, allowing room for any response. The number one answer to this question was simply this, if, if I could do it all over again, I would reflect more upon my life. In other words, I would be more consciously aware. I would be taking inventory on what I'm doing. It's so true that most of us move throughout our life reacting instead of creating. If you could live your life over again, what would you do differently? The number two response was, I would risk more. I would live less fearful. I would take action. And, and these two answers, they dance together as one. Because as we reflect upon our life, as we gain perspective on our life, with that perspective, we can make informed, clear decisions to take action, to move forward, to risk more. And what's beautiful about these two answers is you've already begun. Because clearly, upon reflection in your life, you made a choice a choice to take this challenge, which is in and of itself an action step. And what we're gonna do for the next year, the next 365 days, me and you, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to reflect and act. That sums it up. We're gonna reflect, we're going to act. We're going to get perspective and awareness, and then we're gonna take action. We're gonna risk more. We're gonna be less fearful. We're gonna move forward so that when our time has come, when we know we're at the end of our life, we can be very clear that we have had perspective, that we have reflected. And with that informed information, we have acted. That said, there are two ways that you can choose to step into this challenge. And it's, it's in your hands. You can choose to take it through osmosis, or on purpose. Osmosis is defined as a gradual or unconscious assimilation of new ideas. This is comparable to, say, going to an inspirational talk or a Sunday service or reading an inspirational book like the Tchotchke Challenge. By exposing yourself to these ideas through osmosis, you can gradually begin to change. It may create a shift in you. And that's one way that you can take this challenge. You can choose to simply watch each lesson. And through osmosis, it may get in, it may change you. In fact, I think it really will, I really do, to some degree, to some degree, it most likely will. Or you can choose to step into this challenge in the way that it was designed, and that is on purpose, on purpose, to take the challenges, and, and do the journaling, to give your whole heart to it. And if you do this, in this way, I guarantee, guarantee, you will experience a change in your life, a shift. You will begin to see the world differently and, and your world will change in powerful, powerful ways. I guarantee it, I do. Money back guarantee, but, but our agreement is this. You must do the challenges and do the journaling. And then if you, for some reason, feel it hasn't had a profound effect on your life, 
money back guarantee. But that is how sure I am, absolutely sure I am, that if you take this on purpose, it will have a dramatic, powerful shift. It will create change in, in wonderful and empowering ways in your life. My promise, my solemn promise to you, is that I will be giving 110% of my heart and soul to you, to this experience. And that's all I can do. I, I honestly, I, I can't do any more. <laughs> but it's there, it's there. The rest truly is up to you. If you choose to take this challenge on purpose, to really put your heart and soul into it, you may run into an interesting obstacle. You may find that some people in your life don't like it. <laughs> if you truly reflect and take the action steps, take the challenges and begin to grow and shift and change and step into your power, you may find that some people are threatened by this. It's an interesting phenomenon. People are often threatened by people around them who are growing, who are changing, who are stepping into a new life. And the reason for this is actually pretty simple. Because it shines a light back upon them. It begins to point out to them where they may be living out of integrity with their own soul, with their own conviction. And they don't want to look at it. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to step into their own power and their own brilliance because, as strange as it may seem, we are actually afraid of our own potential. We're afraid of our own light, <laughs> our own brilliance. Come on, Newberry. Let, 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 let's, let's waste time. Let's fritter our life away. Can't we just go buy stuff we don't need and, and, and eat food? That's not good for us, and hang out with people who support the great dysfunction. Oh, Come on, let's go. Look, I, I'm just experimenting with my life. I mean, our life. And, and you know, I don't want any regrets for, for me, for us. I, of all people, I was really hoping you could support me in this chain. Oh, man, you're no fun anymore. Actually, you know what? I'm having more fun now. Than I've ever had in my life. Won't you join me? Come All on. right. Join me. If someone in your life should be threatened by a change in you, by a shift in you, simply say something like this. Say to them, well, you know, I am, it's just a time in my life where I'm experimenting with my life. I'm ready for something new and I don't want any regrets. And I'm just hoping that you can support me in this change. That ought to do the trick. And that's a really good thing for all of us to remember. Let's not sabotage our own experience here out of a fear of our own light, out of a fear of our own greatness. I I'm asking you to make our time together part of your TV time. Because what I've created here is a lot more than just a training experience. <laughs> it's, it's more like a sitcom for your soul, as you will find I'm kooky. I mean, I, I just, I like to have fun and get crazy. And I hope that it rubs off on you because life is too short not to laugh. It's too short to be concerned about what other people think about you. It's too short not to just fully dive in and have fun. And so we're gonna get crazy and I'm just warning you up front, just be willing to go for the ride with me and also be willing to go deeply into your heart and be touched deeply in your heart. So. Let's make sure we're aware of the habits that we've all gotten into that take us away from our soul. Watch the TV time. Let this be some of your TV time. Watch the amount of time on the internet surfing. Watch the smartphones. Watch how we use our time because your life, it's way too important to miss out on the opportunity that is now being presented to you. And I'm asking, that you trust the process. As one great master teacher said, look to the birds of the air. They do not fret, they do not worry. They're trusting the process. Yeah, I, I really believe that 
almost every one of the adventures we're going on, and maybe every single one of them, will be very clearly relevant to your life and to the time here for you on Earth. But every once in a while, one might come up where you think, well, you know, that's nice and everything, but it doesn't apply to me. I think I'll skip the challenge and skip the journaling. <laughs> the truth is, that one just might be the one you need the most. <laughs> it just might be. But regardless, I have created each, each module, each experience for a purpose, and it's where it's at for a reason. And I just ask that you be willing to do the journaling and take each challenge and, and, and take it to heart. Because that, that's where we become like the birds. <laughs> we do not fret. And we do not worry. So on your calendar now, maybe in your computer, or on your smartphone, or an old-fashioned paper calendar, however you choose to do this, I ask you to choose a date just over a year from now. It doesn't have to be exactly, but approximately a year from now when our time together will be through. And on your calendar, write M day. M day. That's your M day. <laughs> what does the M stand for? Masterpiece. You see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create of your life a masterpiece. And we'll get more into that soon. But that's an exciting day. Because if you choose to take this on purpose, then the plans will have been laid down to make of your life and your times a masterpiece. That's kind of a fun day to look forward to. A great day. All right, now click on the appropriate button below me to download your first journal entry. Now, do not do your journal yet. <laughs> Wait until you see our first adventure, which is available now. It's ready now. So download the journaling. I recommend don't even look at it, really, until you've seen the experience. It won't make a lot of sense until you've seen the experience. And get ready for that. You're also gonna need a three-ring hole-punch binder to put together your journal. If you don't have one now, don't worry about it. But just get one in the next couple of days so we can start creating, creating this most important journal that we're gonna be doing to put all the journalings in. What you can expect is that from now on, every week for the next year, you will be receiving in your email a new adventure, the next step in our crazy, outrageous, soulful, transforming adventure and so our first journey is ready now it's ready the question is are you I think the answer is clear you are I think we all are. I think it's time for a change it's time for a shift and the world is calling out for it remember what the people said those who knew that life was coming to an end Number one, I would reflect more. Number two, I would act. I would take action, unafraid. Be willing to change. That's what I would do. And so let's do that now. Print out that first journal entry. Get the book if you don't have it yet. Get a three ring hole punch binder. If you still need one of those, you can get that in the next couple days. And let's go. <laughs>